Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and I did it. <laughs> Somebody was saying in the comments that uh, Warlock 3, I was calling it Warlock 3, it's actually Warlock 5, is becoming my uh, Chinese democracy. Well, no, it isn't. <laughs> but I do have to admit that that comment actually spurred me to say it's this today, today. So I think I started reading this like two weeks ago. I kept promising it, and then either the comic book industry would do something ridiculous or I would just run out of time. It's 48 pages, but the main thing that was just driving me bonkers uh, was uh, I didn't understand what this was. When I first got it, I just assumed it to be a miniseries. But then you start and you see one style, and then uh, it's got like one story, and then all of a sudden John Byrne is drawing. Okay, John Byrne is here, and then that finishes up, and it's what? Uh, so what this is, and it's in the thumbnail, it's um, an issue of a Warlock series from like 1976, then an issue of Marvel Team, team Up, and then uh, Avengers Annual, all from the same time period. So as far as I can tell, there was a uh, Warlock in the Star Sun Brigade Squad, Warlock in the Infinity Squad, something like that, and it was doing pretty good. So it looks like they decided to do some reprints and it was just warlock but it's it's a pretty cool idea it's take all of the warlord warlock stories and then um print them reprint them as they came out um uh which was i really would have liked to, <laughs> you explaining that i guess they say it right here in teeny tiny letters okay so this is something usually they put a box here and it would say Reprinting, oh my gosh, I didn't even notice this page, I thought it was an ad. Now, so now I'm just literally reading it. Oh, so this is like the first page of this story, okay. Sorry, I'm just kind of getting caught up. Deeply indebted to Thanos, in fact I owe him my life, <laughs> kind of. Um, Damn, he just went right through his ship. Okay, so um, uh, it's three different stories, but it, it's presenting them as they were uh, reprinted uh, chronologically. So I was wrong on a couple of things. Jim Starlin did not create Adam Warlock. He was, was originally from Fantastic Four, created by Stan Lee and, and Jack Kirby, I believe. And then Roy Thomas reinvented him as him, which is kind of like a Jesus Christ analog. And then... Uh, Jim Starlin just really liked this and then created this whole mythos around him that eventually led to Endgame. I know you might have seen Jim Starlin's n name in the news, you know, Marvel, you know, basically Marvel comic. He said Marvel Studios has been very, very respectful to him, but Marvel Comics has not. And you really see why. You understand why Kevin Feige probably has some chamber. You know, in what was it? Empire? Where they show Vader has that little chamber that comes down where he takes his helmet off. I think uh, uh, Kevin Feige's got one where he finally takes his hat off. By the way, worth you're worth like five hundred million dollars, Kevin. Get some freaking hair plugs. Damn, you're you're wearing a baseball hat everywhere. You're not slick. No one's falling for it. Um, but uh, you really realize why Marvel Studios respects Jim so much because they basically made a couple billion dollars off of I, random ideas he had in 1976. Um, so one of the things I, uh, so my buddy was really, really into this. And uh, we were in the Marines, he used to always try to get me into this era. And I just like, ah, you know, the, the art's just not there. And I don't like cosmic powered characters. They're too powerful. I can't really identify with them. They're, they're just too godlike. But I was a dumb dumb because these are some of the most identifiable, tragic, um, you know, characters. Like they're they look weird. They got like orange skin. Ha ha ha! Orange man bad. Yeah, we get it. Um, and he's got this weird feathered hair and this kind of dopey outfit. But like he feels things very intensely. He feels very human. Um, and the other thing that I just kept thinking over and over and over again was the word sincerity. There's a little bit of humor, you know, a couple of jokes, mainly with Pip. Um, but this is a very, very sincere 
uh, work of art. This is very personal while also being very kind of broad and mainstream and normy and fun. And let's just throw in Spider-Man because he's an identifiable, you know, earthbound hero. And we'll put him with Adam Warlock and every single thing in this worked. It was, it sounds going to sound like such a cheese ball cliche. The big hit of the first half of the first third of the summer movie blockbuster season. No, uh, this was a joy to read. I had so much fun. It felt very, very pure. It's just some hippie, ex-hippie in 1976 with those little short like Magnum P.I. shorts. Do you ever notice everyone was skinny in the 70s, but they wore t-shirts that were still two sizes too small? What man-sized t-shirt is too small for a guy who's six foot tall and weighs 155 pounds. Are you just buying children's shirts at that point? Oh, old heads, let me know. What were the shirt sizes back like back then? I know like a large soda back in the early 80s was the size of like a medium or a small now. Um, explain to me, every time I see, you know, Steven Spielberg, George Lucas, all those people back in the 70s, they're all, they all weigh 155 pounds and they're all wearing shirts that are two sizes too small. I don't get it. Um, but they in introduced this guy, uh, the stranger who got superpowers from sitting on his hand for a couple minutes. Yeah, okay, no. um, uh, but just freaking fantastic. It's, it's hard to explain this because it's very, very dense. It's 48 pages, but modern Marvel would get literally three years of storylines out of just in this. Um, so, uh, and the thing is, everyone's sincere. Even the villains are sincere. They really want Cosmic Stones to do a bunch of shenanigans. Uh, Peter Parker's just uh, trying to stay alive, basically. He really doesn't understand this. Um, uh, Adam Warlock might be one of the most sincere, interesting characters I've ever seen in comics. He's just fascinating. Almost oddly so. I really love... Uh... So here's the thing we're going to talk about because I'm the only person talking. Jim Starlin, how is he as an artist? Well, he's good and terrible. Um, uh, he draws faces like this, and uh, you can see, like, he's just, like, this Captain America is not good. It's, those hands are not good, and that's not a stylistic choice. That's just him not being good at drawing hands. Um, but his stuff is very, very effective. I, I'm working with a uh, really good artist, uh, artist right now and uh, a joy to work with one of the interesting things is you know I'll tell him you know like hey you know you don't need to do detail in every panel sometimes you just do a, a silhouette or I guess this would be a negative silhouette and it has a little lot of power this guy is really good at like basic draftsmanship you know drawing a hand that looks like a hand Jim Starlin was not good at that stuff but in making things effective and powerful and emotional and, and making you connect, like this mournful scene is just drew me in. Like you can feel his heartbreak and his longing and you can't see his face. All you just see is like a little bit of light on his cape and a little bit of his hair. That's it. Um, but uh, the other thing that I liked when we're talking about sincerity, so they're basically going up against Thanos, but it's like, the 1970s Thanos who would fly around in a helicopter and they're showing his origin and it's like it's very complicated like he's from a moon around Saturn he's not like from way across the galaxy he's just from ours he's just from Saturn and this is his dad and his brother one time he got power but then he lost and he was super skinny um and then uh Captain Marvel got really old and knocked him out but then he just floated in space until his space like it's very, very different, but um, this is what I like. He's still, they still build up that he's a major, major threat. So this is what I absolutely loved. So the Avengers are basically told, hey, we're going up against Thanos. And there is two pages of them just preparing for it. And some of it is a little overly florid, like this moon dragon. <laughs> what did you say? How, I, how well I remember the end of mine. Watching my parents killed by Thanos, being adopted by a mentor or a titan, being tutored by Sentia in preparation for becoming the cosmic Madonna, luckily escaping that honor and finding myself now in one last fateful role as an earth woman returned to protect her home. May the stars grant us... Okay, that's a little... You got Okay, but uh, I even like this stuff where uh, Iron Man's like, 
man, I've fought this guy like three times and I almost died every single time. Like, what am I thinking? Um, uh, Captain Marvel's kind of dealing with the, you know, the, the cosmic significance. He's like, you know, I've dealt with some cosmic stuff. You know, I know death is an entity. I've like looked at her. I, I've, I've sensed her, but he's like hugged her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's his boo. Um, and then, uh, Thor is just kind of like, hey, this is going to be a good match. Um, you know, uh, Captain America is like, this is a serious battle. I've been in before. Like, I like that they're just like, they take some time to just emotionally prepare. This is going to be big. This is going to be D-Day. And then they have to face this armada. And I just love this stuff. He goes, in their time, the Avengers have faced odds most sane men would have flown into the night from. So he's saying ran away from. Yet there had always been hope. One look tells all within the shuttle craft that hope is a word of the past. This is death coming at them, shredding the gossamer fabric of their mortality into the darkness. So he basically goes on like that. But it's like, this ain't just a bunch of ships. Not really that well-drawn ships. This is death. This is all these badasses who have faced death and this is their... They're, I don't know if they're wetting their pants. They're letting some drops out. Let's just say they're letting some drops out. There's a w reason why superheroes wear their underwear on the outside of their pants. Um, uh, ha, video title. <laughs> Let's see, does, does Warlock wear... By the way, I, gotta, I just got to say, even though I've been praising Jim Starlin, I believe this is his cover. This is probably the worst cover I've ever seen. The artistic choices are absolute trash i feel like this knot in this tree might be the main character because it's kind of in the main focus you got this giant except for is he just standing in a hole spider-man is making an expression that says i did you just take the picture i wasn't ready and then adam warlock the star of the show is just down for the count buy some mushrooms straight out of a payo smurfs Bende Desene and like Warlock along came a spider guest starring the Avengers in Captain America well not really <laughs> it's a compilation of, of a bunch of books but it's quite good and I really really enjoyed it so I don't know where you find this wherever old timey comics that smell oh my gosh it's so damn good I didn't realize comics still had that old-timey comic smell into 1992, but I think this is a newsstand edition, so yeah, it would be like that. So anyway, uh, so you know, this would be like a certain month when if it wasn't sold, uh, the person on the newsstand would know to rip the cover off and send it back to the distributor to get credit for it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you still sub subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Thank Am I slurring a lot? Isn't this a sound of like a sign of being exposed to like mustard gas or sarin? I don't know why I'm slurring so much. Um, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. I am enunciating a lot. Uh, thanks to everyone giving to the GoFundMe and the Indiegogo. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I'll have uh, uh, some more new comic reviews up tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.